Hello students, welcome to the session. I am Mr. M. H. Mota, Assistant Professor, Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering. In today's session, we will try to understand different institutional theories. So, institution, what is institution? Institutions are the rules of the game in society. Or in other words, institutions are the different players. Those are available in society and largely affect the overall behavior and a way that follows by the society. Institutions operate at different levels of jurisdiction from the world system to localized interpersonal relationship. Everything can be come under a common heading of institution. Only thing is that they are different in their manner of behavior, their manner of output, their way of following and so on. More formally, formally they are the limitations to free behaviors imposed on the individuals by the society shaping the relationships among individuals. So they are in other words controlling the behavior of individual or all as such. Institutions are social structures that have attained a high degree of resilience. They are composed of cultural, cognitive, normative and regulative elements that together with associated activities and resources, provide stability and meaning to a social life. Institutions are transmitted by various types of carriers, including symbolic systems, relational systems or rational systems, routines and artifacts. So different institutional theories. So institutional theory is a theory on the deeper and more resilient aspect of social structure. It considers the process by which structures including schemes, rules, norms and routines become established as authoritative guidelines for social behavior. Different components of institutional theory explain how these elements are created, diffused, adopted and adapted over space and time and how they fall into decline and disuse. So these theories are explaining how different institutional uh, theories have been defined, how they have or on what basis they are working and uh, how they have sustained, what are their beliefs and what path they follow and what happened with them over a time. So, institutional theory is a widely accepted theoretical posture that emphasizes rational myths, hypomorphism and legitimacy. So, characteristics. The characteristics of institution, institutions are the significant in terms of its structure. The most significant element of an, any institution is its structure. Structure may be either formal or informal as such. The formal structures uh, institution may be of legislature, bureaucracy, political parties or mass media. Or an informal institution might be a network of interacting organizations or a set of shared norms. Institutionalism provides no place for individuals and their interest. It is run for the betterment of whole at a time. All stakeholders and all things those have been affected by the any activity or such things is the main object of having an appropriate institutionalism. There is no space for an individual, rather it involves group of individuals in some sort of pattern interactions that is predictable based upon specified relationships among the actors. The existence of some sort of stability over time, any institution, its structure is resulting in deciding its existence and stability over a time as such. Every institution has a regulator of individual behavior. Every institution generally used to have a certain shared values and certain set of rules in terms of legitimacy. The institutional approach means a particular approach typically applied by an organization. That organization may be a small organization as in family. It can be any teaching learning institution, it can be a large political party or it can be 
the largest in terms of having the structures like uh, United Nations. So everything is some sort of institution. Generally, these institutionalism is divided under two classical heads. One is old and the currently used or new institutionalism. The old approach is to study of politics that focuses on formal institutions of government, while the new approach, a society, social theory that focuses on developing a sociological view of institutions, the way they interact and the effects of institutions on society. <clears throat> different typology of institutionalism. The institutes are of different types. Those types can be a historical, rational choice, normative, actor-centered, sociological and feminist institutionalism. Out of these, first three are the significant type of institutionalism, while latter three are the recently uh, defined types which still haven't got that much uh, significance in, the, in terms of institutionalism. So we will try to understand these things in detail. The historical institutionalism. For this, what is mainly important is the construction, maintenance and adaptation of the institution. So how they have been built, how they have been maintained and how they have been adapted themselves in the different situations for the betterment of all stakeholders. The emphasis of this type is much more on the persistence of organizations after they are formed than it is on the fact of their initial creation. To some extent, the emphasis on embodying ideas in a structure that supports institutions may be taken as a definition of the formation of institution. It can be argued that when an idea becomes accepted and it is embodied into a structural form, then the institutions has been created. So in this type of uh, uh, institutes, what we will find is that there is a certain common urge of finding certain goal and accordingly establishing a certain institution and run on their own ideas as such. Second is rational choice institutionalism. It is assumed that or this type of uh, institute assumed that individuals are instrumentally convinced to maximize their utility. Rational choice institu institutionalists think of institution as a system of rules and incentives. In other words, what they believe is that they have their own set of rules and as they are paying someone, everyone should able to give an output in a expected or desired way. This theory permit, stipulate and exclude rules that is designed to constrain behavior. For rational choice theorists, instru institutions are easily changeable. If correct set of rules or the correct payoff metric is selected, then the desired outcome can be engineered. So they believe that as they have a certain set of rules, those which have been constructed by them, they have an authority to change it at any time as per their own expected outcomes or on the idea on which that particular institute has been formed. To achieve that, they are quite flexible in changing the uh, overall set of rules. Next is normative. It underlines the role of values and logic of appropriateness in defining institution meaning that the institutions can be considered as embedding rules and routines that define what constitutes appropriate action. The norms and formal rules of institutions will shape the action of the, those acting with them. So in this type of institutes, the norms and rules have been defined earlier and they are quite concrete in uh, their existence. They are not flexible with them and according to those norms or formal rules, the every action which is happening in that particular institute will be governed. Institutions are viewed as independent entities that over a time shape a policy by influencing actors, preferences, perception and identities. In this sense, institutions are endogenous or 
In other words, we can say that a normative institutionalism believes in their own emergence in the society. Next is empirical institutionalism. Empirical means experimental. This theory concerns the problem of whether institutions in fact matter because they believe more in experimental work. This type of institutional believes in experimental behavior and its outcome. So they generally try to do something with their own understanding and on that particular outcome they decide what has to be done, whether that particular path has to be followed or they are quite flexible to change it if the desired outcome is not gained. For example, one of the questions empirical institutionalism deals with is a presidential or parliamentary system and whether it is a better system or not. Where they are keeping on, uh, say, experimenting with different things and accordingly they can change their views on it. Next is actor centered institutionalism. Actor centered means the, uh, the institute which focuses or believes in the no decision centralizing of the authority as such. Actor-centered institutionalism also called as neo-institutionalism emphasizes the autonomy of political institutions from society in which they exist. It assumes a greater influence on human behavior coming from the socio-political environment surrounding people and organizations that forms that from within individual or group-based interactions. Next is sociological institu institutionalism. Soci sociological institutionalism is a form of new institutionalism that concerns the way in which the institutions create meaning for individuals, providing important theoretical building blocks for normative within a political science. Last is feminist institutionalism. Uh, it is a new institutionalized in it is a new institutionalist approach which looks as how gender norms operate within institutions and how institutional processes construct and maintain gender power dynamics isomorphism it is a, one of the very major concept in any institutional theories as such isomorphism means being similar institutional isomorphism i Describe the process in which organization gains increasingly similarity in structure. This process is assumed to be driven primarily by a desire of decision makers to create organizations that confirm or excel in their practice of social rules, ideas and practices. Generally what happens in the institutions is that they are driven on the overall way of that particular sector. If certain institution very similar in the nature is gaining some sort of uh, success then they start following it <clears throat> in the similar way they are behaving in that they are compromising with the different set of rules they themselves might have been created so its importance in sustainable development as we have seen the sustainable development can imply a range of policy normative or resource use issues at various scales. Therefore, institutions and their change over time can be analyzed with regard to specific topics on sustainable development such as institutional reforms, learning, institutional interplay and appropriate designs. Often institutional designs and institutional change are useful approaches for investigating unsustainability in economic development. This happens when institutions are understood as structuring elements of human nature relationship and institutional change is used to redirect the institutional failures during the development process. So thank you for attending the session and having me.